How's it going everybody? My name is Nate Jones and this is Business Idea Breakdown where I break down businesses and at the end I give them a score between 1 and 10. Anything over 8 is a business I would start and today, and if you want to check out more of those types of videos for other businesses and if you're evaluating starting a business, you don't know what business to start, check out the videos, you might find a business idea for you. So today was a very interesting business idea that we broke down. Me and my wife, we always sit down and we go through these businesses methodically so we can provide great content for you and we wanna be critical, we wanna talk about the challenges, we wanna make sure that we're evaluating these with our business brains and today we're talking about a social media management business. And I know this has been uh, the craze on social media. Oh, start a social media management business and here's my course that I'm gonna sell you and all this stuff. And, and um, when I was evaluating it and I, I started telling Kami, I was like, I know why people sell this business idea because it is highly likely, this is probably gonna be the highest score that I ever gave a business idea and I'm gonna tell you why right now. I broke this down into six things. Is it scalable? Is it profitable? Is it easy to start? Does it take a lot of your time? What are the challenges? And the most important thing is, can you sell it? If you can't sell a business, why are you building it? You need equity and you need to be able to sell it. Okay, first thing, can you scale this social media management business? This is where you're taking, you're, you're calling a business owner or you're, you're getting a business owner and you're gonna manage the social media. They're gonna pay you a monthly fee. This is what I was assuming. You're gonna pay, um, they're gonna pay you a monthly fee. You're gonna make posts on Instagram, LinkedIn, whatever social media channels that they want and you're making it for them. As a business owner for me, um, we had somebody running our social media, um, she stepped away, and we're kind of looking for this right now because I'm managing it, and let me tell you, it's the last thing on my list, and sometimes I don't get to it. But, so this is an awesome business to start because I feel the pain. I don't want to be managing our social media. I'd rather pay somebody else to do it. So, can you scale this social media business? I put yes. Um, obviously, as you get more clients, there's a lot of tools out there in which that can help you um, basically schedule out a client's social media for a month out. So even two months out. So once you get a client, make those posts, schedule them out. And um, once you get so busy, you have so many clients, you can hire an assistant and kind of duplicate yourself over and over again until you have this big, massive social media management company. So I think, yes, this is really scalable. Um, you know, being that it is a clerical type job, if you hire somebody, that's going to be a lot easier to hire somebody because they're not out sweating and working hard. All they need is a computer. So as you scale, all you have to do is probably buy somebody a computer, which is probably around 700, 800 bucks, depending on the computer you get. So yeah, I mean, this is an awesome scalable business so far. Um, number two, is it profitable? Uh, this was another thing that was just amazing. I was like, okay, what's my expense if I have a computer already? Um, I can easily start this social media management business because all you need is a computer. All you need is a computer and probably, I would say you probably would need Canva. Canva is a great um, online application to make social media posts. So um, I would say your monthly costs, even if you buy a computer, I mean, you're gonna get in under, if you buy a really nice computer, maybe at 800 to 1,000, but if you already have a computer, you may need a $5 a month Canva subscription to run this business. So can you turn a profit in this business? I would say, yeah, you probably could. With one client, you could probably turn a profit, which is pretty crazy. So um, very profitable. You can do this business from anywhere. So I think that's another thing is, hey, you don't need an office. Um, nobody's coming to your, to your office. So as you scale, I think this can be done remotely, which really helps your profitability because you don't have an increased cost every time you hire somebody outside of salaries. So, um, Really like that. Uh, number three, is it easy to start? Is this an easy business to start? I would say yes, very easy. I think anybody can do this. And if you don't know how to post social media or you don't know how to do that, there's tons of videos on YouTube of learning how to do this, um, how to, probably there's templates of how to sign a client up, all this stuff. And it looks like it's very easy because there's a ton of people that want to help people out. And every business that I've looked up, that I reviewed, Everybody wants to help everybody out. If you look on YouTube, how to start a pressure washing business, how to start this, how to start a cleaning business, there is somebody who's made a video about it and it's for free. So I think it's very easy for you to start if you want to work hard and find the best ways to grow this type of business. Time, how much time does this take? I mean, this is another great thing about this business is it's 
fully on your time. You sign up a client, you say, hey, I'm gonna post two times a week or three times a week. You schedule out those posts. Once you schedule them, your time is freed up to, to basically go out and find more clients to put in your pipeline. So as far as time and doing this anywhere at any time, because um, if you're mowing lawns, you gotta mow probably when the sun's up. If you're cleaning houses, you clean the house when they want you to be there. Um, you know, all these businesses are kind of restrictive on when you can do them. This business, you can do it whenever. So wow, uh, pretty crazy. I really like that. Uh, some of the challenges that I saw, the single biggest challenge in this is sales. This um, business is going to lean on existence of how much sales you can bring in. So um, I own an insurance agency and I'll do a review of that type of business, but our insurance agency, it's kind of the same thing. We have to find people who want to buy insurance or who are already buying it and want it cheaper. It's the same thing for this business. You know, you have to be offensive in this type of business. The biggest challenge is somebody who's going to start the business and wait for the phone to ring or wait for leads to come in. That's not going to happen. You have to go on the offense of this. You, um, one thing I was thinking just from my experience in business, uh, cold calling, you're going to have to probably cold call to get clients. If you don't want to cold call, then you're probably not going to be successful unless you have a website or something that's bringing in leads, which is really hard to do. So, uh, I'd say, yeah, you got to go on the offensive. You got to put your name out there. There's going to be a lot of time that is spent on sales. So that was one thing that I had a challenge of is, Hey, this business, even though it has all these perks that I mentioned before, the hardest thing is going to bring in sales. If you can bring in sales in this business, you will be more than successful than you've ever dreamed of and you'd have more freedom than ever. So the biggest thing is understanding the sales process and you need to be a salesman, saleswoman or sales whatever to make this business successful. And I think the, the resources that you have on YouTube and all this stuff is gonna really help you be successful in this business. But hey, you gotta be committed just like any business. If you're not a hustler, you're not a hard worker, you're not gonna go out there and go get it, you're not gonna be successful in any business you do. But this business, I would say it is pretty worthwhile to um, really focus on the sales and learn techniques about sales to get those leads in. So can you sell this business? Um, I would, and, and you know, this business, I, out of all the businesses I've reviewed so much or already, this is a business that I would potentially buy if I saw one out on the market. And I understand why nobody's selling them because once you build your client base, you know, why would you sell the business? So. Uh, it looks like you could sell between three to five times EBITDA. EBITDA is basically a fancy word of saying net income, right? So whatever the net income is, if this business is bringing in, I put that at around a, a million dollar revenue mark because I would say, hey, if you're building a business, you want to at least get it to a million dollars in revenue. Um, and so let's say your business is doing uh, 500, you have some employee expense, so you're doing, you're netting 300, right? $300,000 business. Let's say on the low end, you're selling for three times three to four times, you're selling that business for a million dollars. And you're saying, hey, why would somebody buy that for a million dollars? They buy it for a million dollars, they get a loan on it. Um, the business is bringing in 500. Um, you could probably potentially cut some staff or you could cut, cut some expenses. Even if you don't cut, you're getting 300,000. Your loan probably for the year is gonna be a 10 year loan, a million dollars. That's gonna be about 7,000 a month. So you're gonna be spending about 90,000. You're bringing in 300, you're netting 300. So you're gonna be netting 210,000 if you buy this business on a 10 year loan. So that's why buying a business is so uh, attractive because you could cash flow 210,000 by buying this person for a million dollars in, rep in uh, purchase price because the EBITDA or the multiple is around three to four times. So, um, which for the person who's wanting to retire, wanting to get out and get a million dollar check, that's pretty good, pretty good. So what is my score of this business. This is the highest score I've ever been uh, that I've ever given. I gave it a 9.1 out of 10. Anything over eight is a business I would start. This is a business I would start because it because I always say, don't build the business, build the lifestyle you want, and then find a business that fits that lifestyle. Because my thing is, I like to travel. We probably go somewhere every other month. We've gone to Paris, uh, London. We're going to London in a month. We've gone to Vegas, Canada. We we go all over the place. New York and we like to travel. So I wanna find a business where if I'm in the airport, I can still run it. I can still do that stuff. And hey, I want a business that I can eventually scale out and build a team and then I still make money even though I didn't work in it every single day. And this business is one of those businesses that hey, it's very attractive because I can be in Hawaii sitting on the beach and my business is still making money. 
I could have employees and have a staff and manage it and not have as many headaches and have to physically be there and, and, and have all these sunk costs and equipment and everything. I mean, this is just a great business because um, of, of the lifestyle that I want to fit it with. Now, I think you need to understand that this business is going to be a sales grind. And um, that's why I didn't give it a 10 because obviously, hey, that 9.1 0.9 is going to be the sales. I mean, that's going to be the hardest thing. So um, comment below. What are your thoughts on this? Subscribe and check out my other videos on the business idea breakdown playlist. And I'm going to keep making these and I'm going to try to be as honest as possible. This business is very easy. Very Probably the easiest video I've ever made because when I start breaking it down, I mean, if I were you, I would really highly consider if you do not have a business, this is a business that you should really think about. I have no angle. I have no course to sell. I have nothing, right? I'm just telling you from a business valuation standpoint, um, I would build it. I would, If I didn't have the business I had now that was doing so well, I would really think critically about starting this business. Thank you so much. Have a good one.